Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, as some of you might know, Krampus, the only working executor for Windows a few months back, did get shut down. And since then, there hasn't really been an executor that works on Mac or Windows. And I do want to make it clear that that is still currently not possible. However, there are a few executors in development that will soon be available for Windows and also Mac. And of course, as soon as those are available, I will be sure to make a video on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. Now with that aside, in this video I'm going to show you the best method that is currently available to still execute scripts on Roblox. So let's jump right into it. Now there will be two things that you need to download, both of those will be linked down in the description below. The first one being an emulator. So we do have to go back to using an emulator for now, unfortunately. However, of course, as I said, that won't be the case for long. Once the Windows Executor is out, I will be sure to make an announcement on that. However, for now you will need an emulator and the emulator that I recommend is the Moomoo Player emulator. And of course I will link that down in description now to get started with the download simply go ahead and go down into the description where you find the two downloads once you do click the link it will take you to my website just like this now it will go ahead and land you on the video that you're currently watching from there go ahead and click on the download button for whatever you're trying to download and that will take you to this page over here from here go ahead and complete the steps and that will give you the final download and once you have downloaded the emulator and the delta executor simply go ahead and open up the emulator now simply go ahead and press down on the executor and drag and drop it into the Moomoo emulator. Once you do that, that will start downloading Roblox for you. And of course, this is the modified version of Roblox with the actual executor on it. Once it has downloaded, simply go ahead and click it and that should open Roblox for you. Once it has fully loaded, it will take you to the login screen. So go ahead and click on login and over here, go ahead and log into your Roblox account. Now, once you're logged in, you should see this screen over here. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and load into any game of your choice. So let me go ahead and do that. And once you have fully loaded into the game, you should see this UI open up, which is the Delta Executor. Now, for most of you, it will ask you to generate a key and the steps to generate the key are extremely simple. So you can just follow the instructions on the screen and generate the key. If you are struggling with that, you can join my Discord server and I will be able to help you out with that. Now, once you have gone ahead and generated your key and you've put the key in, you should get this menu over here. Now, there's a bunch of different things, so I will explain what each of these do. So the very top, you can have scripts that you've saved. So these scripts are going to be for easy access for later. So you can just save scripts over here. So the next time you load into the game, you can simply go ahead and click on execute. If you come down here, this is where you can paste your own script in and you can hit the execute button and that will execute your script. So let me give you an example. I have gone ahead and copied a script. So I'll just go ahead and click on execute. And as you can see, it does execute the infinite yield script just like that. And of course, if I want to go ahead and fly around, I can now just go ahead and do this and I'll be able to fly around. Of course, in this game, you can't really fly around. Um, you have to actually be in the cart, but that was just an example. Now to bring the menu back up, of course, you can just click it just like that. Now, if you come down here, you can also go ahead and search for your own scripts. So right now I'm playing a game called create a cart ride. So if I search for create a cart ride and we go ahead and click on enter, that should bring up some scripts for this game, as you can see right here. So that's pretty much how this function works. So you can access a bunch of scripts right through the executor. So with this feature, you can access a bunch of different scripts without even having to look for scripts on any other websites, which is really convenient. And if you come over here, this is where you can see all of the settings for the executor. Now, I don't recommend changing anything. One thing you can change is if you go down here, you can actually change the FPS cap and increase it to maximum FPS. So that should allow you to get some more FPS from the game. And of course, over here, this is just for debugging. You don't need to worry about this. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. As I said, the Mac and the Windows Executor will be available very soon. And as soon as those are available, I will make an announcement on my Discord server. So make sure you join that for the updates. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.